So if you're coming as a tourist, one of the tourist attractions is in Phnom Penh is Wat Nom. And I'm not going up there today. Um, I've been there plenty of time before. I'm going to do another video of the good side and the dark side of Wat Nom Park. Now in the daytime you can see there's plenty of shade trees and it goes around in a complete circle. So we'll go around and have a look. If you're coming to here, um, just walk through the gate. Don't take any notice of what they say. Um, the park is free and they try to charge you one to two dollars to go and see this. The mound that Wat Nam was built on is, was handmade. Um, all the, the dirt and the soil was brought in by hand. But we're not here to look at what none. We're looking here to look at the the park and explain to you, you know, some of the good side and the bad side of the park. Now you can see how lush and green it is with really, really tall trees. And doesn't matter how hot the day is, there's always a nice cool breeze coming through here. So in the daytime, if you want to sit down and see some really, really nice, you know, trees and scenery, is to come to Watnam Park. And they've all got so seats all the way around. And these are one of the good sides and the bad sides of Watnam Park. Now you can see, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a hot morning this morning, 11 a.m. in the morning, and some real beautiful shade trees here, and it's all, it's lit up at night time. And you'll see a lot of wildlife here, like this monkey's here. And these long beak birds here, I'll, uh, I forgot the name of them, I'll put it on the screen. But they're all over the place, I'll show you some more. Here's another one here. So I'll take some still photos of it, of a close up of it. I didn't need to take any photos, I've got some here close up. So, monkeys and these birds are here every day. And if you bring some meat, or bread, they'll come down to you and get fed. There's another one here. I've got a memory blank at the moment and I forget the name of them. I'll put it on the screen. Beautiful birds with a huge wingspan. You see them along riverside sometimes, but they're high up in the sky. Here, they come right down. So if you want to see some really, really unique wildlife, come and see these birds here. If you bring some meat, and put it here, they know where to come. So you bring some meat or bacon and put them on these. 
these Buddhist shrines and they know where to come and eat. So if you want, to, want them to come down from the trees really close up, just bring some meat and put it out. <laughs> the sky has just scared them all away. You know, idiot. There's another one up here eating. So what non park during the daytime, these are always here. Plus the monkeys and early in the morning. Beautiful birds. It's not often you can get up close to nature like this. To see birds like this in Cambodia. Right, we'll leave the birds to themselves and I'll get to my what the real reason I come to the park. Oh. Well there's a great photo, video. Beautiful birds. Fighting over a piece of meat. After all those tourists that are coming to, there's more wild dogs, you know, they're everywhere. Tens of thousands of them on the streets. And if you include cats, you know, there's hundreds of thousands. Just leave them alone. Don't feed them. Don't take any notice of them. Don't take them home. Don't adopt them. Just leave them alone. Now, come to Wat Nam. There's probably if you want to see some wildlife, like the birds I've just shown you, there's, you know, one of the highlights of coming to Nom Pen. Bring some bacon with you, or some meat, and put it in those shrines, and the birds know, and they'll come down from the trees and eat it. And you can film them, you know, really close up. Now, all the tourists come in the daytime, but there's also tourists come at night time and they come from a, for a different reason and it's up to you whether you come or not you know I'm not telling you what to do and what not to do but all the solos work here I'm not going to go into details if you don't know what I'm talking about then you don't need to know but this is where a lot of the solos work from and you know this place is raided up to five to eight times a year and the whole place is raided by the, the police and everyone is rounded up and taken back and you know get your fingerprints taken and your detail passport details taken and then you're released so you don't want to be caught here after dark because the only reason you come here after dark is for looking for solos and it's not a very safe place after dark so it's up to you if you come here or you don't come here this is Wat Nam Park and the daylight house perfectly safe the wildlife and everything you want to see is here but after dark it's not advisable to come here not a safe place and taking solos back to your place of residency they always like to bring a friend which 
you know, sounds good, but you can only look after one while the other one is going through your personal property, personal possessions and taking them. So that's just a, a warning. You know, not advisable to come to Watnam Park after hours. Watnam Park is all lit up at night time. You can see the lights everywhere. But there are, between each light, there's all these seats. And females sit here at night time waiting for the, the people that are looking for the solos and they come here. So, and in the daytime, be very, very careful of your mobile phones and your video equipment because it's a hot spot to have it, your handbags taken, snatched, and your mobile phone snatched. I've got security gear on all my video equipment. That takes me you know, up to 40 minutes to rig up before I leave home. 40 minutes to rig up all my security gear. And it can't be taken unless they cut my head off. So it's all connected around my neck and everything, so it can't be taken. But if you're just using a mobile phone, People will just run past, grab your mobile phone, and they've gone. So be careful if you're coming here in the daytime and you're doing any videoing. If you've got a partner, they can look out, be a watch while you do the videoing, and you can do the same for them. They can do the videoing, and the other, your other partner can be a lookout. Uh, just one do it while the other one hasn't, you know, is, is, a, is a lookout for any trouble coming. If you're coming to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, this is, you know, one of the things you want to come and see in the daytime. And beautiful trees, beautiful shade, and if you just want to sit and relax, and see the world go by. What Nom Park is the best place in the middle of Nom Pen City. It's right at the end of Street 19, not far from the USA Embassy, American Embassy. There's only a few hundred meters down the road. But, you know, after dark, yeah, you know, you're only coming here for one reason and be very, very cautious. And it's up to you whether you come or not. And if the end results are really worth it, you coming at all at night time. So just remember they do a police raid about six, eight times a year and take everyone away for questioning. So if you're here on the you know after dark, you're only here for one purpose. And you don't want your fingerprint and details taken and then released. That's what nom there. Which I'm not gonna do today. I've just done wildlife. This is the first. If you're coming to Watnam Park, this is the first thing you'll see. Watnam and the clock in the foreground. Uh, that's the clock there telling you the time and this is what's the first thing you'll see when you're coming to to Watnam Watnam and two monks
looking at the clock. Here's another tip when walking around Phnom Penh, Cambodia. As most of the footpaths, sidewalks are taken up with vehicles and motorbikes. Always walk towards oncoming traffic. This is the way you walk in Phnom Penh. You can see who's coming towards you. And all those people that have mobile phones and handbags stolen are always walking with traffic coming behind them and you cannot see who's coming from behind you and you always most of the females that have the handbag stolen have it on the traffic side now if I was a female and walking along here I would have it on my left hand side away from the traffic and I can see who's coming towards me some are on mobile phones some are on drugs some are drunk, some have got no headlights on. I can see everything that's coming towards me and I can take evasive action if anything happens. Walking the other way, walking this way, I cannot see what's coming behind me. I have no idea. I'd have my handbag on my right hand side if I was a female but I have no idea what's coming up behind me. So when walking around Phnom Penh, Cambodia, walk with the traffic coming towards you. Here, I'm on Riverside, and I can walk on the sidewalk. I get into the side streets, which are narrow. Always walk with the traffic coming towards you, day and night. There's been so many handbag snatchers and phone snatchers and people are giving, or tourists, fly in, fly out tourists. They've been here a few days, get the handbag stolen or the mobile phone stolen. And then bad mouth Cambodia saying it's a terrible place. Every world, every, every country in the world has handbag snatching and mobile phone snatching. It's a worldwide you know, happens in every country in the world. And they come to Cambodia, happens to them, and they give Cambodia a bad name. Fly in, fly out tourists. Been here a few days, I think they know everything about Cambodia. So, always walk with the traffic coming towards you, day and night. And then you can see who's coming towards you. And if you're a female, put your handbag on the opposite side of the traffic. Now if I was walking along the road here, I'd have my handbag on my left hand side. And if I was walking the other way, I'd have it on the right hand side. This a little tip. And also this is Riverside, where a lot of tourists come to pick up solos. And it's the same with where we just come from, Wat Nam Park. You know, you've got to be very careful and don't take them back to your place of residency. They all know a hotel which charges $10 a, not, a day or a, an hour, big pardon, $10 an hour. So they'll take you there and leave all your valuables at home. And they've always had a little, you know, something extra to it they say oh bring my friend with you with me and you think oh that's good but while you're with one friend the other friend's going through your personal belongings so leave all your personal belongings at your place of residency and only take less than forty dollars with you stuffed inside your sock and the hotels are ten dollars an hour but they know where they are and even your mobile phone, leave it at home. So many people are having their mobile phones and all their possessions stolen by taking the solo back to their hotel room or where they're living and usually they come in pairs or threes and while you're dealing with one, 
the others are stealing all your personal property. So that's all the advice I can give you. Good luck.